All right, let's look at another example. Okay, so we've got the integral of x cubed times x to the fourth plus three quantity squared dx, okay? So u is gonna be the part being squared, so x to the fourth plus three. Take the derivative of it and you get four x cubed dx, okay? But it's just x cubed up here, so you're gonna divide by four. So one fourth du is your x cubed dx. Okay, so you just go back in and substitute. So this becomes u squared, and then x cubed dx becomes our 1 fourth du. Move the 1 fourth to the outside. So now you're gonna take the antiderivative of u squared, which is u cubed over three plus c, multiply the 1 fourth. So it's u cubed over 12 plus c, and then you just replace the u back with the x to the fourth plus three. Um, Okay, you can only move constants outside of the integral, not variables, okay? So the only thing that gets moved outside to simplify things is numbers, okay? And it has to be like things being multiplied. Um, you can't just decide to move like the plus three outside or something. Okay, now let's look at what happens with this one. So if we take the antiderivative of one over the square root of two x, okay? Well, the innermost thing here is the two x, that's gonna be my u. If you take the derivative of that, you get two dx, okay? So there's no two up here in this problem, it's just one dx, okay? So we're gonna divide by two on both sides. So you get one half du equals just dx. So one dx is the same thing as dx, okay? All right, so this becomes one over the square root of u times, and then you're gonna have one half du to take care of that dx, okay? I think I scared this little bug here because he's just like standing perfectly still now. All right, so we're gonna move this one half to the outside, and I'm gonna rewrite this one over square root of u as u to the negative one half du. Okay, so now you take the antiderivative of that. The antiderivative of u to the negative one half is u to the one half. And then we're gonna multiply by two plus c. Okay, so the one half and the two right here are gonna cancel each other out, and you're left with u to the one half plus c. Okay, and then you can rewrite that as square root of 2x and plus c. All right, I want you all to read page 297 on the general power rule, but you don't have to take a bunch of notes on it. I just want you to read through it so you see it. If you don't understand it, let me know. Um, it's basically like somebody tried to make a theorem explaining, oh, look at this pattern that happens with the power rule, but it's not really necessary if you just keep doing this every single time because you're gonna get the same answer they got. Okay, um, so don't stress about it. Just read through it and acknowledge that it exists, basically.